thing is that we that we travel full time. We're not on a holiday or anything. So at one point we decided to to give up everything in Germany to sell the house and everything. And um, yeah, it is it is really a, a, a development. In, on, on some point you you have the wish to travel, to, to see the world, to see interesting places and then you have to, then you think of how you're going to realize it. Are you just going for half a year or maybe, maybe one year and how you're going to do and combine it with your job and there are so many questions to, to solve and um, we decided to, uh, to make no compromises. Um, because in, in, in the beginning we thought of keeping the house and renting it to, to someone else and um, just stay for a year and come back and well in the end we decided to go for unlimited time as long as we like. Actually um, I, I, I wish I would have done it a little earlier as I said. Yeah, my, 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 um, my family is um, my wife, my son and my daughter and um, we all started together um, and yeah it was it was quite exciting to do this this big step um, because everybody had yeah like a like a, a social um, social life friends and colleagues and a job or school and whatever so it's really pretty pretty hard to um to leave all this behind okay um yeah well welcome to the inside of my house um let me introduce uh, all the areas um to you let's start with this with the um eating chilling um, area well there is this you, yeah you're able to sit eating this is the um, how you call this Ch <laughs> Um you you also have the opportunity to to, to lay down here um, the big connection to the cabin normally other trucks just have a little little hole to to crawl through um, but i wanted it as as big as possible this is my kitchen yeah the worktop is um, made out of oak wood and um, the special thing is that i i cut this this tree myself and um, bring it to a place where they where they chop the tree into boards and I um, put it to dry and this, it, who, who knows uh, about drying wood knows that it takes years, at least seven years to, to dry uh, oak wood properly. And um, yeah, then I finally had the chance to install it in my, in my truck. And uh, also this um, was a tree I, I cut myself and yeah. Back take down the stuff and you just lower the table and you have another bed you can sleep with uh, two people this way or leave the table up another person sleeping this way so you have many opportunities to um, yeah to choose where you want to sleep you can um, you can comfortably uh, sleep with four um, you can easily sleep uh, with with two persons person up here, sometimes three. Yeah, underneath is storage. You can use that place as you like. As soon as it's all about storage, we have um, a compartment, a big drawer for for clothes underneath. My wife's and mine. The thing is, you can you can also reach these drawers from the outside. Yeah, there are storage up here.
Another special thing about the truck is that it has an automatic transmission, which is very comfortable um, traveling and also very nice when it comes to, um, yeah, to go, to go off-road. Engine size is um, uh, six liter, six cylinder uh, turbo diesel engine, um, which is very, how you say, economic. And it has a, um, a, good, a good range. The consumption is about um, around 20 liters on 100 kilometers. I don't know how you say in uh, miles, but um, which is very good for a big truck this size. And I guess it's, it's around 10 tons with all the weight and full tanks and everything, which is quite a lot. Um, yeah, and under this compartment, I carry like a spare gas bottle, um, an additional diesel tank because the original diesel tank is uh, very small it only carries 100 liters which uh, allows you to go maybe for a maximum 500 kilometers and that's it so i had to put an another one so i have an extra of 200 liters here now um, also um, i add an extra water tank carrying, uh, traveling full time. We can, we can go off grid for about uh, two weeks with the, uh, with the, uh, yeah, the, uh, that is basically limited with, by the amount of, uh, of water. But I carry, uh, and there's another water tank below. So all in all, we have, we have here, we have 120 liters and underneath there is an extra, or there's another 180 liters. And I just um, added this one because 180 liters is, not really a lot. Before, before I um, was, was able to, to build the inside and the living part, I had to um, change the, the basics of, the, um, of the, the box in the back, for example. Um, I was not able to, uh, to stand up, so I had to raise the roof. And um, this part you can see here, I raised uh, 40 centimeters. And I, um, I also changed the, this, uh, the, the shutters. This used to be roller shutters, moving like this. And well, with the, with, with the windows and everything, it wouldn't work anymore. And also inside, you have lots of, um, yeah, they kind of roll up on the inside, which, which takes a lot of space. The thing is, I wanted to, I wanted to keep them. I wanted to keep the, the, the original um, look as, as good as possible. And to, and to in, install these was also pretty difficult. Actually, every, everything, every corner is like, like, like a prototype. You have to find, you have an idea how to convert it or what to do and then you have to find a solution how to manage it and uh, well the, you get these in, in different uh, sizes and strength and all of that because this thing will open all, all around. This, this, this part is more or less the, the living room where you can, where you can sit and eat. The next part is more or less the, the, the bathroom. We have a, we carry a, a washing machine. Yeah, and this uh, there is a shower right here. We have this um, this tub, how you call it? Yeah, tub. Yeah. Yeah, tub. And um, we set up a curtain, and well, you can take a shower inside. And this is our toilet, which can also be used just as a as a normal seat. And outside. Hmm? And use the toilet outside. And use the toilet outside, yeah. This is more or less, um, it originally was thought as an, like an emergency toilet. The next one is my, my workshop. Yeah, this workshop is um, equipped basically to, um, to be, yeah, to, to help myself to realize projects 
inside inside the truck when I want to change um, or rearrange or repair or whatever stuff um, and I'm equipped to do all kinds of woodworks so it's like a, a, a small um, what is it carpentry we call it and um, yeah, I'm also able to, yeah, I'm able to do all the woodwork and all the like plastics, like um, glass or uh, even welding. I carry a little, little welder. So, and yeah, I'm equipped to change um, a naked van or a truck into something like this with this workshop. There you go. Ready to rumble. Everything is here, yeah. And uh, well, this is my my special area. Without, as a craftsman, without this area, I, I would feel very unsatisfied. I always need to do something, realize projects. We arrive somewhere. We have to put out. We have to pull out the the stairs, uh, as I call it, the gangway, because uh, as you can see, the door is um, the entrance is pretty high. And there you are. You're welcome to enter. The special thing about this is that it is that it is possible to change the angle of from from where you enter the truck, like this. But what I'm going to show you is how to open the shutters. Let's open that. This is basically storage and um, my, my water system. I have uh, quite a few filters inside um, yeah, to have nice and fresh drinking water. And underneath there is, uh, there is more storage. This is the um, little compartment here. We have um, yeah, stuff for the dogs, um, special stuff to, to, suck, uh, to suck water. And um, this is this is for uh, warm water. This is the um, boiler. Okay, and this is the, this is the jack. In case I have a, a problem and need wow. to need to jack up the, the the truck, 12 ton jack. Yes. Next section, we are in the kitchen. The the outside of the kitchen. Um, I build it that way so it is possible to. I, the, all these all these drawers I can of course um, use from the inside, but I can also use them from from the outside. So if we um, if you're out here and you 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 you're cooking outside, um, you don't need to go inside the truck to get the stuff. You can reach it from from the outside. Um, same thing with the stove. Um, that's why I put a long hose because um, the, the, um, I can use the stove also outside. Like when you want to cook outside, you just put it on a table or on this thing here. Yeah, this is nice to sit on, nice to cook on. These batteries, yeah, these batteries are very important because they collect or they, they, they store the, the electricity, the solar system. They can store about uh, 900 amp hours, which is quite a bit. Yeah, you can. It's yeah, it's necessary f to run uh, a workshop. Okay, with uh, with with 900 um, watts solar system on the roof, it's easy to to charge these batteries within a few hours. Next thing is um, yeah well the the entrance basically you have in this uh, in this shutter you have the the door but it's also um, possible to open up the the whole thing just like just like the rest all around.
actually I found it in, uh, in the internet, uh, in uh, German eBay Kleinanzeigen. But to know what you, what, what you look for is, um, is kind of an, a long story or a, a development because yeah, you, in the beginning you have, some, you have, you have the, the, the wish to, to travel but you don't know the, 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 the kind of vehicle you would, would, would be perfect to travel with. Um, so you f first you have to define what, what you really want and what you look for. And um, well, pretty fast I, I decided to buy an old fire truck because um, they are yeah, they are old, but they have very low mileage. They are in perfect condition. They they never see rain or hardly see rain. The the, the Swiss fire department um, bought this originally, and then um, after a few years, a German chemical company, a big chemical company, bought this for um, yeah protecting the the company. When the company is big, really, really big, they have to have own fire trucks. The van is built in uh, 1980. Um, I got the truck in 2017, at the end of 2017. Um, materials, just to, without the truck, just to, to build the interior, it's about, I spent about 15 to 20,000 euros and trying to use recycling materials um, about one or one and a half years to hit the road but I'm, I'm still not finished because uh, I think something like this is never finished you always you're always changing things you have new ideas you rearrange corners you're optimizing corners stuff stuff you didn't build properly you have to overdo it i'm very lucky we did this because we live in this full time it's not just for holidays and um yeah the only thing which i would change is i, I should have started earlier doing this because this life is so so wonderful to live you have so much, so much freedom. You're you're out of the the, the stress. You, you, I think it's a lot healthier to live this life because you're out of the stress. Uh, the, my profession is a, to be a joiner. Um, and before I I worked in uh, northern Germany and uh, built windmill wings. You 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 could of course uh, use the stairs as proper stairs but I have my own way to uh, to go up which is a little little quicker I think and um, it's nice to stand stand up on the uh, spare tire yep and you up yeah this is my my canoe um, I had to or build it as the yeah the the the, the finish to become a, a, a master carpenter, you have to prove your skills, not just your knowledge, also your the skills, what you can do with your hands. And this is what I did. Um, I always dreamt of uh, building a canoe, so that was that was my chance to do it. It, uh, it took me about one and a half month to build it, and um, yeah, it's made out of cedar wood which is very, very light and um, yeah, there you go. It's five and a half meters long and it can, it carries about four, maybe five person, depends on if it's adults or kids. Yeah, and it's perfect for, for a lake like this and we're gonna go for a ride um, later. And another thing is that um, that we were not lucky lucky about being in in the system, uh, being captured in the system, um, because the development of 
of politics and everything in, 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 in Germany and not just Germany, also for for whole of all of Europe. Um, yeah, we saw. I can't say big shit coming. Huh? <laughs> we knew something was going to come. Just one thing, which is no secret. For example, a big finance crash, and. Um, I thought it is it is it will not be good to to be de 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 depending on, on 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 banks or to have a house which is not paid fully and well when when a, when a, when a system or when a state is in trouble they will make their their people pay for it and um, well I want we wanted to get to get rid of everything being as independent as possible um, no more owing a bank money or yeah you, you never know you, f you feel secure where you are you have a job and everything but times change and your job is gone like this first you felt safe and secure with it but Nobody can, can promise that, that you have this job forever and be safe. And um, well, well, I hope you enjoyed the, the tour through and around and above my van or truck. If you're interested in converting your own truck um, to something like this, I offer this as a service. So if you like, that's my passion and my profession so